Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Metroid Prime. And today, we're gonna go beat down big balls, bonanza, bollocks, whatever you want to call them, Ridley. So we finally collected all the artifacts, I think, I hope, I pray, we have all of them. And yes, I did an eyebrow raise to every single one of those things I just said. But yeah, I guess we'll, uh... We'll have to see what happens, because I don't know what's going to happen. We'll either get completely decimated by him, or we won't. It's not really up to me at this point. Well, yes it is. It's my skill level, so... Ridley is the final boss. That's a lie. I'm just fucking with you. He's not. I wish he was. But no, we have to fight something far worse. Oh yeah, you'll, you'll see Oh, yeah, you'll see. You'll all see what we have to deal with at the end game. And you thought that the Parasite Queen was enough. You thought that was a cool boss, didn't you? You, you might even think Ridley's a cool boss, which is fair, because he kind of is. You might even think, like, some of the bosses earlier on were kind of cool. Well, you haven't met the final boss yet. And you are probably well in for a surprise when you find out what the fuck we got to put up with. Thought the Omega Pyro was cool? That's awesome. No, that's great. It's fair. Omega Pyro's not that bad. Except for the dumbasses around him, yes. Which makes the fight miserable. But other than that, he himself's pretty cool. But yeah, we gotta fight off Mecha Ridley. Not just Ridley, but Mecha Ridley. Or Meta Ridley, actually, I think it is. Either way. He never fucks off. He never dies. He never goes away. That's just wrestling in a nutshell. No Kraid, though. I kind of wish there was, but Kraid got was... Kraid was cut content, unfortunately. Which pisses me off, because Kraid's one of my favorite bosses to deal with. He's so cool. I also like Ridley as well. I, I think, honestly, the trio of, of Ridley and Kraid and Mother Brain are a perfect trio of bosses. I can't remember. If he gets, like, a third or fourth hell bar, I don't think so. No, he could have been this easy. I remember him being way... I remember him being way tougher than this. What am I doing wrong? I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Also, the fanfare. Well, less so the fanfare, more so the music being like a remake of his fight theme. Oh, the main boss fight theme, I should say. I'm curious. That's sure. Okay. Where'd he go? Now he's down and out. Well, now he's down here. I gotta hit him. Probably could just use flamethrower on Oh, that's too late. He left. Let's say I could probably just use flamethrower on his ass. Technically, I think super missile might be the more optimal thing to use, but as it stands right now, plasma beam's working just fine on him. I don't care. I'd be his ass one way or another. <laughs> as long as I kick his ass, I don't really care how he goes down. Technically, there's no reason to be locked onto him, because you're not really going to probably make any hits anyway. Look how little damage he's doing to me, because I'm so fucking strong. Nice. Yeah, when he comes back up, hit him. Hit him with a charge. Knock him on his ass. Knock him on his stupid ass. I'm back down here, douchebag. I'm back down here. Where are you going off to? Of course you are. Why would you not? Also, you can't jump off the building. As much as you might wish you could, you, you really can't. Ow! That hurt, actually. Why would you do something like that? Ugh, I hate when he does that shit. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I don't know, I, I kind of thought that maybe Flamethrower would work, but it don't work. I mean, it's it's a part of the Plasma Beam, so... You know, my my brain kind of thinks wrong anyway. Shoot him right in the chest where it hurts. It's almost down. Maybe. 
You know, I remember. I don't remember plasma being this effective against them. I guess I just didn't really use it very much. Huh? Because usually he has like another thing that he does when he gets on the ground like that. They have to break off a bit of his armor or something. I thought not his armor, but I did. yeah, it's been way too long. I guess. I mean, there's really no reason to dodge that shit unless you're just gonna do like a no damage thing. Honestly, I don't really need to worry about damage. I've pretty much got it just fine. Nice. There we go. Now you can't fly no more, you stinker. How's it feel? That's what it was. You gotta burn up the wings. So, this fight right. Oh, for fuck's sake. You have to wait for him to open his mouth. That's the idea. When he does that charge thing, then you want to hit him right in the heart. And this is probably where it might be best using Super Missile. Ow. This is where he's really going to start doing some damage to me. Why the fuck is it not working? It's just not going in his mouth. I think I, I think I'm trying too hard here. It's probably what's going on. I'm doing the actual dash itself when it should be. We're doing it right. Oh my God! This is like the Dark Souls of Metroid Prime or Metroid games because there's a dragon that you fight. <laughs> oh shit! That should do a lot of damage. Alright, fine. It's not enough. But it's never enough with him. Just think, if you want this to be a lot harder, put this shit on a hard mode. It will kick your ass. I can guarantee that. The hard mode actually is impressively hard. Like, it's an actual decent hard mode. I mean, so is Zero Mission, and... Uh, I wouldn't really say Dread is a very hard, hard mode. Not really. I, I think it's just more so because I've beaten Dread mode like a million goddamn times already. That hard mode just doesn't feel like much of anything different. All you're really doing is just not getting hit. And hard mode in the older games are pretty much just that. You know, just don't get hit. Silly. So. There. Now, could you leave me the hell alone for the next two games? Possibly the fourth one coming up? I swear, if he comes back in the next sequel or the sequel after that... I mean, he fucking blew up. He can't show back up. How are they going to bring him back from that? Okay, they brought back Mother Brain, at least in Super Metroid, so... Pfft. They can bring him back really at any time. Can't wait for somebody in the comments to be like, Oh my god, have you not played the other two? I'm like, yes. <laughs> I know. That's what that's what a joke is. Wait, hold on. Oh wait, yeah, I think there's, there's a save anyway. There's a fucking save anyway. Um, I believe you can teleport back here regardless, but still... We're going to actually add the Impact Crater. Yeah, because you're probably thinking, well, how the hell, like, the Metroid home planet thing, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, the Metroid headquarters, like, what the fuck are you talking about? How are you going to be able to head there? There's no other way there. Like, you've gone through everything. You've gone through every destination. Yeah, that's true. But would you have guessed the Artifact Temple would have been the key to getting to the top? Maybe not. And that took us nine minutes to do, which means we're going to have to beat the final boss in this same goddamn video. Alright, hope you're ready. I sure as shit am not. Alright, here we go. So, Metroids. Love them or hate them, they're going to be here. And they're going to be quite annoying. And they have variants, too. Oh, did you think you are going to get away with that? 
Did you really think you were going to get away from avoiding shitty Metroid fights? No. No, you... Maybe you did. Maybe you did think that. And maybe... Maybe you were hoping for that, but now you're... You're unfortunately wrong. There's no getting away from shitty Metroid fights. Because this is a Metroid game. And we gotta do with Metroids at some point. Look, I've never really... F I've never really been a fan of fighting Metroids. Also, just... Yeah, you're gonna climb on these teeth thing here. And they're basically teeth. Wait. Hold on. That's weird. Go away. Alright, where the fuck? Hold on. Yeah, they respawn, by the way. Oh, I know. I know. I'm going the wrong guy. If they, if they, if they, if they do attach onto you, you can just power bomb their ass and music gets them off you. Oh. Sorry. Make sure that before you make a jump, you're quite careful of, you know, where they're at, either behind you or in front of you or wherever. They're kind of far behind me right now on the map, so I'm pretty much good. As long as I could just get over here, which should be the only... No, there's another. There's another. Yeah, that's right. I'm not going to waste my power bombs just yet, because I kind of want to wait until I get to a point where I'm going to have to. <coughs> but look at that. Missile recharge room. Don't see them very often, but there you go. As the game saved, and now we got full missiles. How quaint. What the? No! No! Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> It'd be funny as fuck. If you just keep doing that over and over again. I mean, you can, but it'd be funny if somebody did that. Alright, hell with it. We're blowing him up. Yeah, you want to be quick with this area, because... They're ev well. They're mostly everywhere. They're not exactly everywhere, but they're 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 everywhere enough to the point they're gonna get really obnoxious. And you're better off just not fucking with them. Like just just platform. Don't don't even like strafe jump. Just fucking platform and get out of here. And try not to fall off. <laughs> okay, we made it past that that area. Now what we're gonna do is this. That's right, we gotta blow ourselves onto these platforms here. Go the other way! She does that sometimes. Sometimes, like, you try to, like, go a certain way, but she don't. Look at this place. It's been fucking Metroided to hell. It's all gooey and gross and, man, what the fuck? That's a face. You know, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I ever, ever remember seeing that as a face. It's kind of, honestly, kind of creepy looking. Now that I think about it. But there it is. The actual name of the game. Metroid Prime. And holy fuck are we in for a fight. Oh. Fucking A. Alright, so yeah, first part of it kind of runs off. You chase him down. You do this multiple times. It's not a horrid fight, to be honest. It just, unfortunately, you have to use very specific weapons to do damage. One of which is Wave. So, get used to using Wave. Because you'll be using it a lot. And Plasma. And Ice, actually. Let's so Power Beam. I don't feel like Power Beam gets used very often. All I gotta do right now is just keep shooting, uh... It in the face. And then he'll do this shit. And you kinda just have to... Avoid him. Okay, I went the wrong way. I'm doing the wrong thing here. Now, you can use your missiles. As in, you know, like, super missiles and shit. They will work. For this. You're better off... If you ever have to fight uh, Prime with Power Beam, missiles is a good choice. Uh, super missiles, sorry. And there we go. That takes down that part of it. I forgot I only had the one health bar. I kept thinking I had more than that. That's technically the real phase one. We'll just call it phase two because you meet it and then you fight. I don't know. That's technically phase one, I guess. All right, now it's ice beam time. Ice beam's a little harder to kind of get going because it's slower. That's the one thing I can say about ice beam that makes it kind of suck. 
And you don't have to worry about charging it up too much. Just as long as you shoot the motherfucker, you don't have to worry about charging. Which is something I kept doing all the time, especially in that last phase. And when, uh, you do damage like that, you're gonna wanna hide in this morph ball. Little cove thing here, this little trench. Yeah, watch out for that shit. That's gonna hurt. I think it's like homing attack stuff. Now, for wave beam, though, yeah, you need to charge this shit to even get a decent amount of damage on him. Because if you don't, you're not doing damage. Because that's wave beam in a nutshell. The worst fucking thing to exist in this game. Strange when you compare it to its other counterparts in other games that are way better. How it just effectively is a better tool. Yeah, you can shoot these, I think. Yeah, you can shoot those. They take forever to kill, though, but if you need stuff now, then absolutely go for it. But of course, you gotta still watch out for, well, that shit. Okay, nice. Okay, cool. Now we're down to, like, the next phase. Pretty much half health at this point, I believe. At least I think so. Not really a, a bad final boss, just annoying sometimes. Especially this shit right here. Yeah. That whole, like, sticking to you thing, it's really annoying. Whoa! There we go, nice. Plasma should effectively destroy those, I think. Are you gonna actually switch to plasma? Okay, never mind. It was I guess it was power that they switched to a lot. That it switched to. Not sure. I'm gonna have time remembering. There you go. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Not a not a terribly hard boss. A little long though. Honestly, but and that's fine, I guess. How am I getting hurt? Also, plasma does a ton of damage. So really you wanna get yeah, you definitely wanna have plasma going on. Okay, what now? Ice, maybe? Wave, of course it is. Shit. I lost my lock on. I, mean, I could try Wave Buster. I mean, it's essentially more effective than just not using it. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Alright, I think this is the last phase. I'm, I think so. I'm almost kind of certain of it. I'm not. 100% sure, but I believe. I believe. Hypothetically speaking, let's say you were daddy's girl. And let's say you were a naughty girl, even. If you were a naughty girl, and you were daddy's girl, then you would need a spanking. Am I correct? It is of my belief that because you're daddy's girl, and even a naughty girl, you would deserve to get a spanking. And I, as daddy, must deliver punishment. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hang on there, tiger. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, Marceau Mushroom. Oh, I guess there was a trench here. I didn't see that. I kept looking at the volcano things there on the ground. This is like a fucking Tomb Raider final boss. You know what I mean? I don't know, it just kind of feels like one a little bit. It just gives me that feeling of it. I don't know why or how to explain it. Two minute final bosses are odd. Because, I mean, in all honesty, two minute games are kind of odd themselves. Because you're really, you're dealing with, like, a lot of ancient creature things that appear. Come on. I don't fucking care if I'm getting hit or not, just... As long as you die, I don't give a shit what's going on. Is that it? Is that it for, for actual realsies? No, that's right. God damn it. Fuck. I know it's not it. Shit.
Because that's the true final boss. I know. I thought the same thing, too. I kept thinking, like, wow, that was actually kind of easy for a final boss. I forgot how easy that was. Well, yeah, of course it's fucking easy, because it wasn't even the actual final boss! Jump that shit. I forget what you're, all I'm supposed to attack him with. I know what I'm supposed to kill him with. I remember now. Yeah, you gotta go into those Phazon portals, and you gotta go find out where the fuck he's hiding at. It could be doing anything. You could be in thermal mode, you could be in fucking x-ray mode. Who knows? There he is. Just find him. Use hyper mode and blast his ass. Just hold down A. And that's how you beat this boss. Effectively. Yeah, watch that, because that's that's the real kicker. <laughs> that's the real thing that's gonna kill you. And he likes to do it a lot. Okay. He'll probably disappear somewhere. So maybe he'll go in thermal mode. I don't know. Yep. There he is. Just let your hyper beam do its work, and there you go. He kind of looks like a Curse the Cowardly Dog villain, doesn't he? Yeah, you're so tough. Ow! Okay, okay, okay. That one actually hurt. You done with your shit yet? Yeah, he's still in thermal. Worst part is... fuck are you? Can you get on the fucking thing, please? I, I let go of it. What's his health bar at? I can't see shit. There it is. Man, I almost wasted the entire time just getting fucked on that one. Yeah, see, the thing is, like, you can't really... You know, hit him with any other thing besides what you need to hit him with. Come on, man. Get it over with. Blow them the fuck up. Find out where this fucking dick went. I'm standing on the... F I'm standing on the fucking thing. Dude. That should be it. Again, not necessarily an extremely hard boss, or really even a hard final boss. Just an annoying bastard. Hey look, it's the X-Parasite things. Oh, uh, kind of, sort of. Not exactly, of course. Not actually, but... Oh, well, there you go. No more Phazon shit. Whoa. Okay, my controller does vibrate. Uh-oh. We're not done yet! We gotta get the hell out of here. Wait, I could have sworn there was a self-destruct sequence. Oh. oh, there we go. It sucks it's all gone, but... Nah. Fuck this place. It's still weird seeing her head in Metroid Prime. She kind of reminds me of Alex from Eternal Darkness. There you go. Now we lost some Chozo stuff again because, of course. 
Because bastards gotta show up and blow shit up, so. Alright. Oh, yeah, that's right. If you hit A, you stop credits. Oh, fuck. Fine. I'm just gonna end up the thing anyway, soon, so. Yeah. Um, that was Metroid Prime. I still like it. It's just, you know, the spots I don't like, of course. It's the same thing with Super Metroid. There's parts of it I don't like, there's parts of it I do like, so. You know, you know how it goes. Other than that, you know, getting the artifacts are kind of annoying, but you can get them on your way. You don't have to wait until the last minute. I just was being stupid. I kind of forgot to do that. Um, this was a pretty good send-off for a final episode. We ended up on an even number. We fought Meta Ridley and the final boss, Metroid Prime. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. You know, kind of a good way to end it. As for the next Metroid game, so I should probably mention real quick, I plan on doing Other M, for those that might not have heard or watched earlier parts uh, I do plan on doing other M next and maybe I probably will wait a while before I do prime 2 to be honest um, after I get done with other M I might be kind of done with doing let's play stuff for a while possibly it depends on how other M treats me uh, there's other let's play things I do want to do like God hand and a few others but I still have Kakarot to go through of course which I'll finish that before I take a break so don't worry about that one. Uh, I don't want to start getting that stuff done. Hopefully I'll try to do some more Kakarot this weekend. But at least Prime's done so I can now focus on something else. Which in my case will probably be Other M. Let's be honest. So yeah, I'm, I'm not on my Metroid move just yet. I'm still doing it. I'm still feeling it. But anyway, as for Metroid Prime as a whole, I mean, very good game. A very good beginning half. And then it starts to kind of flunk a little bit in the later half just because things get more obnoxious to deal with but yeah like Fendrana and Magmore and Chozo are pretty fun levels Talon is just there phase on mines fucking sucks we all know it does come on now uh, I think it sucks personally <laughs> and uh, yeah I mean yeah that's mostly about it yeah that's just uh, there some bosses are just kind of whatever like Thardis is just a little bit too long and then Omega, or not Omega, yeah, Omega Pirate's neat, but he's also annoying because he's surrounded by goons. And then Metroid Prime uses Metroids in its fight, so there's also that. Uh, well, yeah, I, I don't know what else to, to really say um, outside of it's still a pretty fine game. It does get just a bit annoying in later parts of it, like I've said before, but still worth the check out. Still definitely one of the more higher quality GameCube games out there for sure. And if you play this game, not as much as I, you know, did in the past like day or two, you can definitely enjoy it a lot more because things get a lot less annoying when you're more fresh in your mind. You're not worrying too much about getting shit over with. But anyway, so, yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, I might as well show this off. 76% done. It took me seven and a half hours to beat the fucking game. Holy hell. It was a long one. It was definitely a... It was definitely a thing. I could have played it better, but I'm very bad at doing anything anyway, so there's that. Um, this game can also link up to Metroid Fusion, and you can get the Fusion suit in this game, but I do not have a GameCube that I'm playing on. I'm playing on my Wii. And on top of that, I don't have my GameCube, uh, like my parents had a GameCube thingy, but, uh, for the bottom, for the Game Boy, but they still ha have it, and then my friend now has my Link cable, and I think he's missing the CD, I don't know, because I gave him that, because I didn't need it anymore, and then, well, he doesn't have everything anyway, so, and I don't have everything for the Game Boy anyway, so, there goes that too, but other than that, yeah, that's basically it. It would be nice if you could just get this shit without having to actually plug the damn thing in. To play NES on your Game Boy. Oh. Oh yeah, see, you can get the fusion suit, but you gotta, you know, link him up. You gotta link him up and shit, but I don't have that. So. Oops. Oh, it wasn't the bottom part, it was just the link cable. Oh. Maybe I probably could do it in my Wii, I don't know. I doubt it. But yeah, there you go. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one.
either Kakarot or other M or whatever comes up next. So, as always, take care, everybody.